Hi guys, welcome back to another music review. Today it's gonna be for an artist that I haven't actually listened to, and that's Aviva. She brought out a new song called Houdini a couple days ago, I think the video dropped four or five days ago, and I've actually seen her name pop up multiple times, and I've had people mention her music to me before as well. Haven't gotten around to like listening to it properly though. But since this video showed up in my YouTube suggestions multiple days in a row now, I'm like, okay, I got the message, I'll give this a listen. So that's what we're doing today. Um, the only thing I basically knew about Avio was that she had like this vibrant yellow hair, um, which I think it's, I, I love like these vibrant hair colors. I think it's so cool. And sometimes I wish I was brave enough to do something like that to my hair. But as you can tell, it's just like the usual blonde, but we do have the yellow on the eyes and the yellow on the top to just, you know, honor the yellow of her hair basically. Yeah, I don't really know what to expect. I think she's very much in the alternative, alt pop, alt, I don't know if it's actually rock what she does. Uh, so uh, this will be just full of surprises. Let's roll with it. Loki giving me something like Billie Eilish meets Halsey vibes. This is a little bit of insanity. Oh, demons. Oh, she's so British. This is a vibe. Like, legit. This is really cool. Little drop. Oh, okay. At the end, we are free from the chains. This was cool, yo. This was this was very different from what I expected. I expected it to be a little little rockier maybe because uh, just because people suggested it to me and normally the stuff I listen to is quite rocky like I do love me my guitars I do love me my heavy riffs once in a while or more than once in a while but this was actually really cool it's I think I said this at the beginning of the video it's giving me like Billie Eilish or even to like some extent there were moments where I was like oh this feels very Halsey so yeah no that was cool that was that's like a track i feel like you can throw on to just vibe or on nights out you know like when you pre or when you just like chill before going out that's the kind of track you can whack on or like driving in the evening it's very much like a, mm -hmm, getting ready kind of soundtrack which is really cool but to be honest i haven't like paid too much attention to the lyrics except for the like houdini and chains bit because that's just very catchy but let's dive into the lyrics and see what the song is actually about. Okay, so as always, don't be irritated. I'll be looking down there because I have the lyrics there. Because obviously having listened to the song for the first time just now, I so do not have the lyrics memorized. So please do bear with me. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at verse 1. Okay, this is actually a pretty long verse. So let's start with the first part of the verse, which centers around the aspect of truth. So knows the truth, I'm hiding. Truth is nothing's true, watch your back. Very much what this seems to hold for me is something about hiding your true self, hiding your emotions. Um, basically that everything is a bit of an illusion or a lot of times we play pretend to hide what's really underneath. But this whole watch your back kind of implies that if you do that, it'll eventually come and just bite you in the ass to just say it very bluntly because you can't always keep up this illusion and that very much seems to tie into the whole don't know what to do just smile this is this aspect of just smiling through the pain smiling through the suffering 
smiling when people ask you like yeah how are you doing and actually you're like oh, I would like to say I'm I'm doing shit I'm not doing great but you just smile through you're like yeah I'm fine thanks you know that kind of <laughs> just keep up the facade don't let people know what's actually going on inside your head and this is really interesting with the got my demons back watching my back hear them humming so basically these haunting negative all-knowing thoughts just constantly buzzing around your head the doubts the questions everything they're the ones that kind of you know they're creeping up from behind which is maybe why the watch your back was mentioned in earlier in the verse and what i think is really interesting visually about the music video there were obviously like bits and pieces where she was in this like red light and there were these like ghost-like effects so it almost seems like those are the moments where like the demons are creeping into your mind. They're like a part of you that's like breaking out a little bit, which I think is very interesting tying that in visually. And then ending the whole verse on the don't know what to do, just smile. Like you don't know how to hide what's going on in your head, just smile through it. The pre-chorus seems to continue this idea of illusion with the tricks up my sleeve, which seems to be in a way a reference to the title of the track, Houdini who obviously put on a show, he was, it was his job to sell the perfect illusion. That's what he became legendary for. But then there's this aspect of make you wish you could leave, um, I could really make you scream. You wanting to exit from this illusion, wanting to maybe connect with the truth, being able to voice that, but you can't because you're so caught up in this illusion of the chains of your illusion which might be an interesting aspect visually as well because there were like a lot of chains wrapped around her and those were a lot of tricks that Houdini used to do like underwater or buried alive kind of in chains and what I'm not too sure here is like the eye could really maybe the eye in this case could be the inner demons you know like the inner demons can make you scream or the eye as in if I tell you what's going on inside my head I could make you scream in horror Oh, and what's really interesting, I mentioned this at the beginning of my like lyric analysis, was that I, it's like this, oh, how are you doing? And you say you're fine, and here it's basically that, I'm good, how are you? Never better. So the conversation character really comes in in the chorus. It's very cordial, it's very friendly, you know, basically a casual small talk conversation by the book, which never really gets you to any depth, and anyone that's ever had these kind of conversations knows that. And this whole never better while you actually feel like shit is just picked up again as well. And then the whole I'm Houdini in chains seems to me like it's a metaphor for being caught and tied up in this illusion like I said before. And that's just repeated over and over in the chorus which almost makes it seem like that's just a situation that happens over and over, over again. It makes it seem almost like frantic. And what I think is really interesting is ending the chorus on this don't make me explain. Like, don't make me explain because I'm insane. Don't let me explain how I feel because I can't actually explain and there's just so much noise going on in my head that it's gonna be a dangerous place for me to share with you and for you to dive into and try and understand. And also as a magician, you never wanna reveal your secrets, if that makes sense. You're always like, don't make me explain my illusions. Don't make me explain my tricks to break these illusions. And this verse two seems to very much pick up this whole idea of not wanting to explain because never understand what I'm cooking, my mind chopped up if you insist on looking, don't do that. Like I said, this is this whole idea of basically someone else being horrified by the mess that's going on in your own head and you yourself being unable to explain what's actually happening up there. Basically, you're saying I'm a mess. So is my mind, so I am not really fine, even if I can construct this perfect illusion. And what I think is interesting here is the door locked when I walk in, even if you want to leave it, it will never open. So again, emphasizing this idea of being caught in the illusion, caught in your Houdini chains. And in the music video, we had her lying in this like area that almost looked like half of a, like a glass coffin or something. Whoa, hello voice. Last comment, it was a very compressed area, like from the top she was like lying down and you could see like the ceiling or something was very close by and then you have like, like the um, glass on the sides or something, so lying down but also being tied to the chair basically until the very end of the music video and that's something that is hidden in these lyrics I think. And we basically end on the chorus, which I think is 
also really interesting because a lot of times songs will obviously have an outro or post chorus or just something at the end but ending it on this almost frantic character from the chorus again with a I'm good, how are you? It's always like this back and forth. It's like, it's a ha ha, yes, and oh my god, I'm insane. Really hammers home the message of this song. And that I'm the Houdini in chains, caught in my own illusion. Can't break out from that. I'm the perfect illusionaire. And don't make me explain my tricks because you'll just be worried and scared of what you'll find, what the truth actually is. Because a lot of times, people don't even want the honest answer. If they ask you, are you fine? Like, how are you doing? They, a lot of times they want you to say you're fine. Unless it's like close friends or something, obviously there's always exceptions. But a lot of times, if people are in for a casual conversation, they want you to say, oh yeah, I'm fine, how are you? That's that, all done. They don't want the honest answer. So we're just very trained to not give an honest answer. That's definitely something I've also noticed about myself during these pandemic times. What I'm trying to do more actually, it obviously depends on how well I know the people, but if I know the people a little better and people ask me, how are you? I answer honestly and a lot of times I'll be like, see, I'm not doing bad because not everything is bad. There's many things I can be grateful for. There's exciting stuff that's happening behind the scenes. My family is healthy. I'm healthy. I have a place to live. I have no like issues with my job or anything, but at the same time, I'm just not fine this whole thing is getting to me more and more so that's okay to admit that as well just throwing that out there to anybody that might relate sometimes it's okay not to be okay and we don't have to answer the question how are you with never been better if that's not actually the truth well <laughs> i guess that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this one I definitely enjoyed giving Aviva a listen and I think I'll check out a little bit more of her stuff to just get more of a vibe. But yeah, do let me know your thoughts on the songs and maybe also on my analysis. And I hope to see you back in another video. So yeah, thank you so much and bye bye!